Hey YouTube, Tactical Punch here with another GIMP tutorial for you guys. After a long time, and by the term long time I mean one and a half years, almost one and a half years actually. Um, but anyways, today I'm going to be doing a interesting tutorial for my comeback. Um, I'm going to show you how it looks. This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing this um, pretty fun Oreo text or your 3D text effect, text effect. Um, it's pretty easy to do um, as you can see we have the nice Oreo cookie texture somewhat similar to the Oreo cookie texture but anyways pretty easy to do fun tutorial let's go let's go and get started um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new file the size I'm gonna be using is 1280 the width and the height uh, about 7, 720 click ok and then I'm gonna fill my background with this nice blue um, the HTML notation is 0089FD uh, you're gonna fill it in quick make sure you have FG colorful selected and fill whole selection and then I'm gonna select my text tool and set my text color to white and this font I'm using is sans bold, the default, the default font. And the size I'm going to be using is 235. And I'm just going to go ahead and type my text. And then I'm going to select my central alignment tool. Click on the text layer. And select, press these two buttons. These two, the center button right here. And then I'm going to take the um, perspective tool right here. And then you're gonna follow the pattern that I do. Um, the top left corner right here. I'm gonna bring it somewhere towards the middle, somewhere over there. And the uh, top right, we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, not right into the middle, somewhere around here. And the bottom, the bottom left corner, I'm gonna bring it up a bit, somewhat like that. And same with the right, we're gonna bring it somewhere around there. So you can, you should be the platform should be looking something like this so hit enter so as you can see we have a nice slanting text right now slanting backwards then I'm going to centrally align it again then we're going to right click on the text layer and we're going we're gonna to click on layer to image size okay and then what we're going to do is you're going to um, alpha to select the text layer click on right click and click on alpha to selection I'm gonna get the selection right here. And I go to the bucket fill tool. Um, and make sure you have pattern fill, the pattern fill option selected. And then we're gonna be using this uh, default pattern, which is called recessed. You know, it's uh, somewhat like a gray, gray background with some pressed in circles. I can, I guess. Uh, but anyways, we have fill whole selection selected. I'm gonna fill that in, and then. We're gonna make a new layer and then we're gonna select FG color fill again selecting the bucket tool and then we're gonna fill um we're gonna fill it in with this black plain black then we're gonna go ahead and do select none um on the uh, black layer we're gonna put the mode to about to overlay um actually we're gonna just put it to normal and then we're gonna lower the opacity a bit, you know, somewhere around 80. Um, actually, I'm gonna go with 77. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in and show you. Um, you know, you get that nice Oreo cookie type pattern. Not, it's just similar, not the same, but you know, it'll do. And then we're gonna merge these layers down. So we're gonna right click on the black layer. And I'm gonna hit merge down, so it's gonna merge those layers into one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on that merge layer and hit alpha to selection. Then we're gonna create a new layer. I'm just gonna lay name the layer cream, you know, because we're gonna be doing the um, white cream which you have under the cookie. So I'm just gonna fill it in with white. Uh, I'm gonna fill that layer in with white. I'm gonna go ahead and hit select none. And then we're gonna bring the cream layer down by pressing the uh, down arrow button right there. And then with the uh, cream layer selected, 
and select a move tool which is this right here I'm gonna click on the layer again and then we're gonna press down three times okay so um, one two three somewhat like that and we're gonna duplicate duplicate the layer quite a number of times and do the same process so we're gonna duplicate it again one two three we're gonna duplicate it again another three times um, you can do it how much time you want you know it's your choice um, but anyways I'm just gonna do it one more, one more time okay so um, I've done five duplicates as you can see first one second one third one fourth one fifth one um, and of course the original one now what we're gonna do is on the original Oreo text layer which should be on the top uh, we're gonna hit this eye icon right here and then we're gonna go to the bottom bottom layer which is the background and we're gonna hit the hit the eye on that as well so we're gonna have you're gonna be getting just this um, plain white text with no background so then we're gonna go to any one of these layers anyone I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go down to merge visible layers which is above flatten image we're gonna go to merge visible layers and click on merge and what it basically does is it merges all together so uh, we're gonna hit the eye back on and then we're gonna get this then what we're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the merge cream layer we're gonna click on alpha deselection I'm gonna make a new layer um, and then we're, I'm gonna name this um, the, the bottom cookie you know cause we're gonna make the bottom cookie right now and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our pattern bucket fill tool I'm gonna select the pattern fill option and then we're gonna select the same recessed pattern right there and then we're gonna fill that in with that pattern then go, we're gonna go ahead and hit select none then the, we're gonna bring the bottom cookie layer below the cream the merge cream layer then we're gonna select our move tool make sure you have the bottom cookie layer selected and then we're gonna click on the image and bring it down three times basically we're gonna be doing the same thing which we did with the cream so we're gonna bring it down three times. Um, one, two, three. We're gonna dupl duplicate that again and do the same thing. A few number of times. Same thing we did with the cream. I'm just gonna do that. That's gonna be enough for me. Um, so as you can see, I've duplicated it four times. Uh, one, two, three, four then what we're gonna do is on the we're gonna go to the original Oreo text layer hit the eye icon go to the cream layer hit the eye icon and then at last we're gonna go to the background and hit the eye icon so basically you're gonna be left with uh, just the pattern mm, so what we're gonna do is go to any one of those layers again right click then I hit uh, uh, merge visible layers and hit merge so again it merges all the visible layers and then what we're gonna do is gonna click on alpha to selection Create a new layer. We're gonna alpha selection the bottom cookie. Create a new layer on top of the cookie layer, the bottom cookie layer, and then make sure you have FG colorful selected with full hole selection. We're gonna fill it in with white, and then we're gonna go do select none, and then la at last we're gonna put the um, the black layer to an opacity of around. Um, 77 the same thing which we did with the uh, uh, top cookie so um, yeah that's it we've got this a uh, pretty nice fun pretty fun Oreo cookie text effect oh and one last thing I'm just gonna add the um, drop shadow to the Oreo cookie text so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna click the uh, eye on the background and then we're just gonna have this text remaining so we're gonna click on merge visible layers again and then we're gonna have two layers the cookie and the background so we're gonna do on the cookie layer we're gonna go to um, filters light and shadow drop shadow what it basically does it just gives your um, text a nice drop shadow to it so I'm gonna click OK and then you're gonna get this nice little um, drop shadow to finish off uh, this tutorial um, so uh, that's it. This that's it for the tutorial today. I um, uh, hope you enjoyed, and if if this helped you, please like and subscribe. 
stay tuned for more videos which will come I hope hopefully which will come uh, so tap cool punk here until next time peace